Hey everyone! So today we're going to have a look at the new Minecraft launcher that Mojang recently put out for testing earlier today on the Minecraft subreddit. Um, so from my initial sort of reaction to it, I really like it. There are a few things that could be changed, but on the whole it is really nice. It is a lot cleaner than the old launcher. I'm glad they got rid of that awful sort of Tumblr support with the main page that caused it to break a lot. Um, but it's just nice and clean looking. Um, so we're going to have a look at some of the options and just have a bit of an explore. Um, so first on the sort of main page that you open you get the sort of news tab. So if you click this menu icon over here you can see the different sort of um, tabs that are available. So it's automatically on news and you get these nice little pop-ups um, from Mojang. Uh, it's got little images. You can click on these links and they'll bring up um, a web page. Uh, inbuilt sort of video support so you can watch YouTube videos from the actual launcher um, and it's all just quite nice. I, I like that they've got rid of the sort of Tumblr um, support for this. Then obviously the play button, um, you have your different profiles just like you had in the last launcher. So you have the latest release, the latest snapshot and then all of your other profiles as well. And um, we'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second. You have the ability to switch accounts or log out. So if you go to switch account, um, you can choose an account or add a new user. Um, so I'm going to go back into Samosaur 6. If I log out, then it brings you to the login page. Uh, again, nice and simple. It looks a lot better than the old one. Um, you can even create a new account right from the launcher and actually create a sort of demo account as well. So you can play the demo from the launcher without having to go to the website to set anything up, which is really nice. When you log back in, we have again the new screen and if we go ahead into the sort of tabs over here, we have a skins tab. So we can actually finally change the skin from inside the Minecraft launcher. You've got this nice little uh, character preview here. You can spin him around. You can also hover over this thing here to automatically make him spin. You can change the player model from the classic Steve to the Slim Alex. Um, obviously you browse for a skin that's on your uh, computer and then save and upload. You can also reset the skin or download the sort of sample Steve and Alex skins as well. Then we've got the launcher settings. It's fairly basic. Um, so when the game starts you can either close the launcher, hide the launcher temporarily or show game output log. I personally am going to have show game output log on. Um, because it's very useful for when you're working with resource packs to see any uh, sort of errors that are made um, in the resource pack if you have this enabled. Um, then obviously automatically ask Mojang for assistance and allow Mojang to collect anonymous usage data. Um, I would kind of like an option for a darker theme because I think this like white uh, sort of background is a bit glaring but other than that I'm not sure what else they could really add, maybe just a few more advanced things. Then in the launch options we've got um, the sort of launch profiles. So you can obviously enable snapshots, enable the historical versions, so alpha and beta, and the advanced settings which just allows you to mess with the JVM arguments and everything like that. Now I really like this bit, I'm super happy with what they've done here. So obviously you have the latest release and the latest snapshot, you can go in there and all of this is just set to the sort of default. You can change them if you want. Um, but also what's really nice is you can actually download the server for that specific version of Minecraft. Um, obviously it won't work for modded or optifying versions like that. But if it's um, the sort of game released by Mojang, then you can download that server just by clicking that button. And obviously these icons here will open the correct directory, which is also nice as well. Um, and what's really nice is if you create um, your own new sort of thing, you can choose which version it uses, obviously, change the name, but also change the icon, uh, which I really like. It really helps you sort of dis distinguish easily between the sort of versions. So um, if I want to go into oops, uh, my, my sort of default profile that I use, I can change this to, I don't know, a redstone block and save it like that. One thing that does kind of annoy me is it, it shows the name here in all capitals, again with up here, um, but that's just sort of a minor thing, not really 
too much of a worry. And that's pretty much all of it. I mean, it is it is kind of annoying that the play button only shows up when you're in... Oh, it shows up in all of these except the launch options. I can live with that. Um, but yeah, you can also click this arrow here to bring up the different profiles you've got. And then click play. And that's pretty much all you need to know. One thing I will say though is that this version is still in sort of development. It is pretty finalized, but it may still cause crashes and corruption and stuff. So please do be careful, make backups of your um, launcher profiles and everything. In fact, I do believe that Jeb or Mans stated that if you use this version, if you open this launcher, if you do go back to the old launcher, your profiles will be wiped. So do bear that in mind. You can make a backup of the launcher profiles, but definitely do be careful. If you're going to use this launcher, I encourage you to make backups of everything. So bear that in mind. Very quickly, in other news, I do want to point out that uh, MC Model Monthly is out now, the second issue for September of 2016. That's out now, so you can have a look at that over on vanillaburp.com slash magazine. Um, it's got a lot of cool stuff. We spent a really long time putting this together, so I hope you guys like it. Um, also, I'll put in the description a link to a live stream by Log.Zip. I helped him uh, demonstrate the add-ons for uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition, and it was a lot of fun to be involved in one of his videos, actually, like, live. Um, so if you want to go watch that, I'll put a link down there. And also, I will be starting a tutorial series on add-ons as well. Um, obviously, the uh, Modeling Minecraft series will still be continuing as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later. Bye for now.